Hello, I'm Dave, a member of the Group 1 Racing Club for many years, a non-profit making collective ownership group who own a grand old chaser called King Peel. To date he's competed in 113 chases, winning 5 and been placed on 40 more occasions. He's currently just 7 runs short of the world record for the number of chases running held by an American horse called Elfie. Tony Carroll thinks he's well capable of achieving these 7 runs in the forthcoming jump season before a well-earned retirement at the Racehall Sanctuary or British Racing Store. We need your help in funding this remarkably genuine chaser and helping break a record which is unlikely to be broken ever again. This is the first Racehall project to be attempted to be funded through crowdfunding and if it works, King Teal will enter racing history, but the pledges will also enter racing history. Kilfin and Castle the leader from Tarsus in second place. Jack's Lad, Glimmer of Light, they travel well. Third and fourth, they're split by King Keel, who's bustled along to try and challenge as well. From the back end of the field, Bob's Temptation has made some progress to sit on the heels of the leaders. Also improving now is strategic plan around the outside. Vibe creeping a bit closer. Connie Dobell comes next with the red cap as these leaders now head on down towards the next fence. This is the third from the finish, and as they race towards it, it is King Keel who came to the front there. Connie Nobel's been pulled up at the back of the field together with Manasson who's also struggling now at the back end of the field but up front two of them have gone clear King Keel and Tarsus are the two who now lock horns and they've quickly sprinted away from Bob's Temptation and also Jack's Lad towards the inside. Nothing between them at the second last. They're going to have it between them these two. King Keel on the outside of Tarsus. Tarsus by virtue of the inside just a neck up now from King Keel. They've drawn readily clear from Bob's Temptation in third. Then Jack's Lad Vibe in fifth place, Glimmer of Light sixth, and Kilfin and Castle, who's eased in seventh place, but hasn't got a prayer as Tarsus now comes down towards the final fence with the advantage. Tarsus from King Keel. King Keel jumped particularly well. Tarsus made a bit of a mess of it, and now it's all to play for onto the short running once again. King Keel this side getting up from Tarsus. King Keel and Eamon Didashti, a spare ride for him, and Eamon makes it count. King Keel wins. He's the only horse in this race who's taken on Masterminded. Everybody else may be pretty fed up with taking him on. Uh. Well, we wish you very well. King Kill having his 83rd chase today, and he could become a world record holder. King Keel just about to get a reminder, red and yellow as they come towards the third last, which is the final ditch, and they're clear from Wiesen first. But it's Duke of Malfi, Peter Buchanan, horse with the cheek pieces, who set out in front, Copper Sound on the right with Andrew Tinkler with the visor, they touch down together over it, Organ is behind them, then the Walnut Tree and King Keel, Wiesen first is still going, but uh, well behind the others. But these five, anyone now could win it as they come on towards the home turn, Organ is perhaps the first of them to weaken, and is dropped back into fourth place as Duke of Malfi and Copper Sound continue to be together with the red cap the walnut tree is just a, a length behind him in third position and then comes King Keel and the red and yellow colors on the inside of him Organ is his 10 lengths further behind. Two fences to jump, a quarter mile still to travel, and it's Duke of Malfi on the left as it comes to the second last, led by about a length. To Copper Sound in second, King Keel just in behind them in third. The Walnut Tree is now four lengths behind those in fourth. As they come towards the final obstacle, Duke of Malfi then, and King Keel in the red and yellow on the left is coming through to throw down a challenge to him at the last. King Keel and Duke of Malfi together, they're clear now from Copper sound. They head up towards the line. The red and yellow jacket, King Keel with Eamon Didashti has now taken a slender lead. The light blue of Duke of Mouth is trying to rally as they race towards the line, but it's King Keel who wins. Rewards begin with an emailed newsletter for the minimum funding level of £10, increasing to a ballot for owner's badges to see King Keel. Pledge of £50, you're guaranteed a visit to see King Keel himself with a guest at home on the gallery with trainer Tony Carroll. Choose a selection of dates from the newsletter. This will provide an exciting insight into the world of racehorse training at a very modest cost. For the further £50, the guaranteed owner's badge is to see King Keel run and also to present at other horses, that's Ben, and Swing State on the Next £300 and we supply three pairs of owner's badges to any of his seven runs and a champagne breakfast to meet his trainer and jockeys and a chance to meet some like-minded people. Thank you very much in advance for your support for King Kill's record-breaking attempt through crowdfunding.